So, sir, I have experience. Just that I have not worked in a long while. I guarantee that if you give me an opportunity, I'll be able to move this company from point A to point B. I'll contribute immensely. I'm such a team player. I know that my skill set will be put to good use. I need to grab okay, from this. Okay, Stephanie. Okay, not with all this team player. This impressive CV you have here. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Um, you just said something, team player. That means you're trying to say we do not have a team here. No, it just it just means that um, I can contribute if I join a team <laughs> to the progress of Stephanie, the company. I like that word, contribute. I like it, contribute. So, Stephanie, I'd like you to contribute something very important to this company. Okay, sir. So by 8 p.m. tomorrow at Moses Hotel, you can contribute more there. Sir, 8 p.m. 8, 8 p.m. is not work hours. Do you want to tell me how to run my company? <sighs> Sir. You work anytime. Anytime. You just said it, moving us from point A to point B. So that is the strategic time Sir. for movement. Sir, 8 pm is too late. What will we be doing? What a child for God's sake. What's all this now? This look I don't get a job. What do you mean of this now? Stephanie, meet me up 8 pm tomorrow. <laughs> Sleep with me, finish. Sleep with you? God forbid, I can't do that. So I'm a Christian. God, what is God forbidding? Oh, I'm not a Christian. <sighs> Sir, I'd rather starve to death than do anything that is ungodly with you. You can keep your job Stephanie. and you need to give your life to Christ. Stephanie, 8 p.m. to Rome, let's go tell. You come back. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Impressive CV. Thank you, sir. Wow. But can you work under pressure? Sir, I can work under pressure. I have working experience, sir. Please, I really do need this job, sir. Please. You can do anything. Anything, sir. Please. <laughs> That's my kind of girl. So, Sharon. Sir. Then let's meet at Moses Hotel. Sir, you mean Moses Hotel? Sharon, calm down. I don't see baby. See if you look, I don't give you a job now. In this country, you be. Okay, no problem. I'll be there. Okay, tomorrow. See you. Sir, I'm trusting you. I'm a man of my word. I just said it now. I'm a man of my word. Thank you. Hmm. Jesus, I'm so tired. Be back for now. How was it now? Who's the interview? I was just there. How was the interview? Mm, thank God. I'm just going to the guest hall. You got fun, Did the man tell you anything? That man is something else, though. Like, I don't understand. Do you know he gave me date, time? That I should come and see him in one hotel tomorrow. That I should come and see him, that I'm qualified, but he, he has to sleep with me. God forbid. That's what the man told you. That's what he told me. I can't do such a thing, me. Did he tell you anything like that? No, he did not tell me anything. What was the name of the hotel? Yeah, it was the hotel. Well, it doesn't even matter. I can't do it. I know that the country is hard. I know we've been going through a lot of this. Sorry, I'm so tired. Yeah, yeah. after NYC, this is our 50 year no job. Oh, God. I can't. I can't. When men say there's a casting down, I will say there's a lifting up. I can't do it. I can't have ego. One can never kill me before. He will kill me now. But did he, did he, tell, you, did he tell you the same thing? No, it didn't say, he only said that uh, it will get back to me, that I should go. That's all. That's what he told me. Now me, he can't say, say he wants to. Some people are just demonic. Mm
Tell me about the job. Oh my god! Sir, thank you very much. So, first your money, money. ATM is you. Thank you very much, sir. I am so grateful, sir. Sir, I will not disappoint you. Thank oh, you very God. much. God bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank um, sir. Good morning, Stephanie. How are you? Good morning. I was I saw the text that I should come and see you today. Yes, 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 Steph. Okay. I was actually at the hotel you said, but you didn't show. <laughs> Stephanie. Sir. Ah, I'm highly disappointed in you, Stephanie. Do so you think you will go to the hotel and wait? Not just waiting, two hours, Stephanie. Two good hours. Sir, you asked me to come. Is that your plans of moving the company from point A to point B? Sir, you see, I was, I, I had everything. If you're angry, don't be angry. I, I, thought, I thought we needed someone with integrity, someone we could trust. <sighs> Stephanie. I'm highly disappointed. The way you presented yourself that very day, I'm like, I was impressed. So please, you too do. I'm not really like that. I was just desperate. When I got home, there was no food, no water. I just said, let me do it and get the job once and for all. So please, I'm not that kind of person. I'm like, I found the perfect person for this job. Am I getting surprised? You went there. I do reckon you have it. Oh, My boys were there. You were there for two good hours. Stephanie, you <laughs> left there 10 30. Stephanie, leave my office. Let me call the secretary for you. Please. <laughs> <office>. oh. <laughs> Where did you go to now? I was looking for you. Why did you just leave like that? Eh? What happened? I don't understand. What's going on? Hi. Hey, what happened? That man. That man. Hi. He just came up with one rubbish story. And I didn't get the job. I didn't get it. But the good news is that I was the one that got the job. Yes. I got the job. Did, did you sleep with me? Good morning, sir. Sir, I got your message. So, sir, what happened? Sir, I'm very sorry. I couldn't do it because I've never done it before. So, that day I was only desperate in having the job, but I couldn't push forward again, sir. I'm so sorry, sir. So, what do you take me for, Sharon? Sir, it's okay. You can keep the job. Actually, I don't. I don't need it. Cost time is the. Big. Sharon, it was a test. Sir, I don't understand. You said a test. Yes. First of all, I'm happily married. Okay, sir. Secondly, we are looking for someone with integrity. Someone we could trust. Someone who could move the company from point one to point ten. So, Sharon, you pass the test. Oh, you got the job. No, I didn't sleep with him. Sleep? I, I had it in mind, but because of what you said, I'm so sorry. I didn't tell you. You see, I wanted to do it before, but I'm sorry I couldn't do it. You made my faith stronger that day. I thought about it and I said no to it. Even when I got there today, I saw some other ladies and they said, the man gave them time too for for nothing. I'm so sorry. You didn't do it, right? I don't understand, Stephanie. Did you do it? Did you sleep with that man? Not really. Okay. That day after I told you that I could never do it, one heavy frustration just entered my heart. I wanted to go out the next day. But there was no money, no food, nothing. I don't know, I just felt like, let me just do it. At least many 
people have done it now and I just said let me do it but it turned out to be a test and I have lost the game Stephanie I, I went there I did not do it but I went to the hotel I waited I called him mm. nobody showed up why you were the one that encouraged me that time it's all because of those words you said that made me not to go eh I'm so sorry, Stephanie. Let's eh? just hope that another opportunity comes. But this time, you just have to be careful. Eh? I'm so sorry. God, God's time is the best. Another one will come. I'm very sure God will do it for you. I didn't do it. I, I just went to the location that he gave, and I was calling him. I was. And people saw that I was there. They sent him the video, and that's how I failed the test. I'm sorry, Stephanie. I would have not just compromised. Go, Stephanie.